Boolean short circuiting is a very interesting feature. Now, Python has it, but it's not the only language to have it. So actually, I think most programming languages have this feature. And to show you what this is, let me define two functions. So I'll define the function true. And when I call this function, I'll print inside true, and then I'll return true, the value. And then from within the function false, we will print inside false, and then we will return false. Now let me ask you something. What's the result of true or false? Hopefully you know that the result is true. Now, what is the result of true or false as in the function? So, function call true and function call false. What's the result? Now, the result, the result is also true, but notice how on the left, only the inside true was printed. We didn't see the inside false print. And that's because Python didn't actually evaluate the right-hand side of the operator or. And why not? Because... Python started by evaluating the left-hand side, and the left-hand side evaluated to the value true, and the value true, regardless of whatever you put on the right-hand side of the OR operator, we know that the result of true or something is always true. And so because Python knows that, because it's, it's logic, because Python knows that, Python doesn't even worry about evaluating the right-hand side. Now, of course, if I wrote something like false or false, or if I wrote false or true, then I would get both prints because the left-hand side of the operator was false. And so Python needs to check what's on the right. So this is Boolean short-circuiting. We don't evaluate the right-hand side of the operator or if the left operator, sorry, if the left operand was true. And a similar thing happens for the operator and. If I type false and true, how many prints do you think I will see? I will only see one, because as soon as Python finds the false on the left, it knows that regardless of whatever is on the right, the result will be false. And so, false and true only evaluates the left-hand side. So, Boolean short-circuiting means that if the left-hand side of the operator and is a false, we don't evaluate the right-hand side. And this can be very helpful, because you might have different conditions that you want to check, and they might depend on each other. And by using Boolean short-circuiting, it's safe to write them all in order, if you order them correctly. For example, suppose that you have some list, and you want to check, or actually let's call this a list of commands. And you want to do something like, if the first command is to quit, then you want to exit the REPL. Now this fails, why does this fail? Because the list is empty, so you can't even index into it. And so you could write something like, if, if the length of commands is not zero, and the first command is quit, then you exit. Now this doesn't exit because the first command isn't quit, but it also doesn't fail because we change the comparisons we chain the checks in such a way that Python starts by making sure that we can index into the list, and because we can't, it won't bother checking if the first element is what we wanted, because we can even index into it. And so this is a very useful technique that's used a lot in Python and in other programming languages, and it just works based off of Boolean short-circuiting. So I hope this was clear. If not, leave a comment below, and I'll also link to an article I've written about this and about use cases of this feature. Cheers.